What up, ladies and gentlemen? This is not the Oprah Winfrey show. <laughs> So how are you guys hooked up? I mean, you're from uh, United States and you're from Korea, you're Croatian DJ. So, Mike, you know. We met in a Turkish prison. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we start doing music. <laughs> no, we <laughs> no, we um, we we just he he brought us out to do a show one time. He brought the alcoholics out to um, Zagreb to do a show one time, and uh, it was like a place that was, that was n nice to us. It was a good show. He treated us well, you know, and I liked uh, just the whole the whole atmosphere of what he was doing, bringing hip hop to every you know to his country and stuff and um, so when I moved to Sweden um, I, I'd always kept in touch with him and I end up going uh, down to Croatia a lot from from Sweden and hosting parties and so that's that's how we met. I represent a European Hip Hop Television and it's very interesting for our audience to know your opinion of Croatian Hip Hop and your both opinion of European hip hop because you've got a lot of experience right now. Um, you know, I, I I'm deep into the Croatian hip hop scene and I've seen it coming from, you know, I seen the baby steps in the beginning in the 80s, late 80s and the 90s, and then we are actually like a first real hip hop generation started putting out music in 95, 96. Um, big up to all my people over there, uh, Tram 11, General Wu, Edo Maika, Boris Nobracha, TBF, um, uh, Kanjia, Connect, everybody. And there's new kids coming. The, the, my problem with the new generation is they don't really dig out the old stuff. They don't really have no respect for the old, you know, for, for the forefathers of the Croatian hip hop. And they don't really know what's going on, <coughs> you know as far as the hip hop history so that's that's the only thing that I'm um, you know I don't really like about the new generation but there's still some good music Croatia scene is strong uh, especially on the beat front on the production front we have three guys that are amazing uh, Kool-Aid, uh, Baby Dukes and Dash produced for a bunch of people in the US, in Japan uh, Swedish hip hop I mean, Sweden has a hip hop scene. It's, it, it has for a while. I mean, I think Europe on on a whole was, has been there pretty much since the beginning. You know, I remember being uh, young, young, and and seeing hip hop and they showing stuff from France and and a lot of places. So you know, um, Europe has been down with hip hop for the longest. And it's just like in Sweden, you, I, I think the the problem with with Europe is. You, it's very national, and so you have a uh, uh, you have your superstars in each country, but they don't. Once you leave the country, no one knows about them. You know, they can go to another country, and people are like, who is this? You know, and and I've, I've actually been working with an organization that's trying to help out with with bringing everyone together because there's a lot of dope artists all over Europe that everyone doesn't get to see. But it's a lot of good music out there, especially, like he said, especially the tracks. I think the language barrier is, is the biggest problem, but, you know, it's a lot of good MCs out there, but I, I think the tracks are, are killer. Some of the producers I know back in, back in the States, they always ask me to help them get work out here. And, um, you know, I always help MCs get verses for groups out here, but it's hard for the producers in the States to... Um, do beats in Europe because there's so many producers out here, so many good producers making beats that they don't really need that, you know, unless it's okay, some somebody big like Premier or Dre or something. But it's not really a big market out here for producers from the states, I don't think, because they already got it cracking out here. 
I would like to ask Fat Philly about that 50 Cent scandal in in Croatia. You, have you got a comment on that, or you just? Oh, I told you, I told you. <laughs> nah, it was it, it's all good. It was it was couple. It was a couple of years ago. I, I was actually one of the promoters of the show. Um, it, was, it was three of us who brought 50 to Croatia. We got a good sponsorship for that. I wasn't really paying my own money. Uh, and, um, and you know, I was running around backstage doing my stuff, and then I got a call, yo, Philly Fat, Philly Fat, come through and, you know, you know introduce us to 50. And I was, I was in the room like 50 minutes before. I was in 50's room. Uh, same room, yeah, the backstage, because we were we were giving them a a, a password for wireless, for, you know, for to get uh, to go online. So uh, all of a sudden, you know, the crew, the TV crew, running into the backstage. The guys are not ready, even though the the TV crew got the green light from the management, and the manager came out and invited them inside. But I guess he didn't let the artists know that the group is coming in. So. All I can say, I didn't see nothing. You know, you know, everything was pretty, pretty much. They were, they were around the, t uh, the table, doing, um, talking on the 50.com, talking to the fans and stuff. And then 50 was in the other room. He was in a, um, a bathroom, and he came, he came out, and he would look kind of surprised. Oh, wow, camera crew. So it is what it is. I hit my uh, million point five hits, and I got my Bomb Squad DJ's T-shirt on there. And after all, like my man Vinny for Naughty by Nature said, Philly was all good publicity. So, you know what I mean? I don't have no, you know, 50 this Croatia after because the TV wanted to uh, create, um, create it like a big uh, cocaine scandal. Um, you know, I can say he wasn't doing no, no coke. And, and, you know, and it is what it is. It's live TV. Right. Last question for both of you. Your f future plans as individuals and, you know, yeah, we we pretty much do a lot of parties as, as Liquid Bums. I represent Bum Squad DJs, um, a worldwide DJ organization um, um, founded by my boy um, uh, Latin Prince from LA. So basically, I rap that. I also have a magazine of the same name called Bum Squad Magazine in Croatia. We do six issues a year, uh, underground hip hop magazine. Do my radio show Tuesday nights uh, nights for the last 15 years. You know, just just you know. Our mission is to get liquid bombs on the road and do as much uh, parties as we can, because I, I don't I think that's what's missing in the in especially in Europe, a DJ and the MC to rock a crowd. So what we're gonna do tonight? Jerry's gonna do some of his classic lick stuff, and then after that we're gonna just go into a party. And and Jay, I'm gonna rock the turntables, and he's gonna be on the mic to hype up the crowd. So we basically taking it back to the good old days with a fun, and 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 as well we rock from we rock the underground hip hop, classic hip hop. We go into the mashup, we go into the club hits, we go into some house stuff if necessary, you know. So so pretty much a well-rounded sound system. You gonna hear about us. We did joints like Berlin, Hamburg. Uh, Luzerne, we did Rome, all over Croatia, you know. So peace to uh, peace to the um, peace to Roland and Delian and everybody here for bringing us over here. I was actually this is my second time here. I was here with Naughty by Nature. I DJed at um, at the hall, at the sports hall before Naughty, and and also I brought Naughty over here. So looking forward to coming back. Peace and love. Yeah, I, I, I'm just. You know the the liquid bombs we take we bringing the old school to the new. You know what I'm saying we we doing it like they was doing it back in the days, but we we understand that there is a, a new generation also. So we you know we play up what the crowd wants to hear, and that's that's why I like doing parties with Fat Philly because he he's for the people. It's a lot of DJs now who don't understand that, and they play the songs that they want to hear personally. And sometimes the crowd is not feeling that. If the whole, if you play a song and the whole dance floor just gets empty, you should that should tell you something, you know. And uh, Philly is is one who, who sees that. And and when he sees the crowd is getting a little low, he's gonna bring that banger that he know that they want to hear, you know. So that that's what 
being a DJ is all about. And I'm just hyping up the crowd and keeping them energetic, you know, keeping them on a, on a certain wavelength to where they can all say something together, you know. So that, that makes the party like they, they feel they partying together instead of everyone in their own little world and stuff. So we bring those elements um, to every party now. And, we, do, we just been killing Europe. We trying to take it over to overseas to Malaysia and over to the States and you know all that, man. We're talking about doing some celebrity parties soon because, you know, um, all these um, the U.S. celebrities coming over to Europe to party and Croatia is, is like the next party destination. And so we're, we're doing a lot of stuff, you know, like a lot of corporate gigs you know stuff like that so it's, it's been fun you know make, making it making a living off of what you like and, and off of what you can you know you've been doing your whole life so um you know it's been it's been a good ride since 93 and and Jero's ride is a little bit longer you know chevy riding high <laughs> hip-hop tv sofia bulgaria you know what i'm saying Peace from Zagreb, Croatia, all the way to uh, Bulgaria, Balkans, Balkans special. Zdravo. It's your boy Fat Philly, Blackout, Liquid Bombs, I here with J-Ro, Sophia, Peace to Rolling. You guys are watching Hip Hop TV, number one station in Sophia for hip hop, real hip hop. You hear? Peace. Yo, what's up, y'all? You got j Row and Fat Philly, the original Liquid Bombs in the house right here in Sophia, and you checking out Hip Hop TV. What's up, y'all?